Right now, avalanche conditions all across the state are in the low category, below 8,000 feet in elevation. And there are no high or extreme warnings anywhere in the state. New specialist Alex Cabrero spoke to an avalanche forecaster who covers the Logan area. Alex, this is a change from what we've seen recently. At least in northern Utah, the avalanche center up here says the snowpack is actually stable for a change. And because of that, along with powder conditions, they're expecting a lot of backcountry skiers this weekend. It's tough to imagine getting paid to do this. But the work Toby Weed does... I started in 2003. ...means others can also enjoy skiing in the backcountry safely. I think it's important that, you know, people understand the risks with avalanches. He's a forecaster with the Utah Avalanche Center in the Logan area and knows the northern Utah mountains about as well as the wildlife. This is a banner year for snow. Which also means he knows how dangerous conditions can get. The thing is, it's, it's about powder. And with so much powder this season, he's been busy hitting as many slopes as possible, seeing how safe or unsafe conditions are. And right now, it's a great thing to be able to do because the snow is just fantastic. Yo! That's because avalanche conditions are finally low in the Logan area after weeks of being high. We had pretty unstable conditions, especially at low elevations for a while there until it rained. And then that made it really unstable for a little while until that froze up. And, and, and then it became really solid. That formed a deep, stable snowpack, enough for the Utah Avalanche Center to feel comfortable moving the dangerous avalanche warning to low. But even still, Weed says you have to be careful out there. We always say that low danger doesn't mean no danger, and there's certainly still some potential out there for avalanches, especially in areas that are kind of shallow. But in other areas, Weed says have fun because it's been a while since we've had a true Utah winter. We do have the greatest snow on earth. Again, the Avalanche Center can't stress enough that even though avalanche conditions are safer than they've been the past couple of weeks, it is still wise to be careful because you never know. In Cache County, Alex Cabrero, KSL 5 News. All right, Alex, thank you.